Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I've actually never done this before. I've done a lot of uh, SSD uh, uh, boot up comparisons before, but I think I've only put up one or two on uh, our YouTube channel. But uh, what I have in front of me is on the left, you have a late 2011 Mac Book Pro. So this has got the i5 in there uh, with the HD 3000 graphics, uh, four gigs of RAM, uh, DDR3, and um, it's got a new 500 gig uh, hard drive. So uh, I just installed the hard drive in this uh, Mac here. On the right, you have a Mac that I actually salvaged. And so this is a 2010 model and it's uh, only rocking the Core 2 Dual 2.4 gigahertz. You're right. So, um, basically it's got, I've upgraded up to six gigs of RAM and I have a 120 gig, uh, I believe this is going to be a, a, a Kingston, uh, I can't recall which, uh, Silicon Power, uh, SSD and this, uh, MacBook Pro on the right. Both of them have been upgraded to, uh, uh, Sierra, the latest version of, uh, uh Sierra. And I just want to see if it, which one will boot up faster. So I've never really done this. So, um, you're going to. You're going to see it, you know, for the first time with me. So I'm going to uh, power them both on at the same time. So one, two, three. Okay. And so we'll see which one uh, powers up. Looks like the, uh, uh, the i5 powered up faster. But here we see the, you see the progress line. And obviously the progress line uh, on the right is going a lot quicker. Um, so just to let you know, the 500 gig hard drive in the uh, i5 MacBook Pro is a 500 gig hard drive from Toshiba, 5400 RPM. Okay, now you can see uh, boot up really quick. And uh, let's see, now the i5 is still booting. And that's crazy, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, but SSD is definitely uh, just a huge advantage in terms of uh, boot up speed, regardless if you have a PC or a Mac. Um, and then here we go, we have the, finally the i5 has turned on and we're going to log in right there in the i5 and let's uh, close it up and I'm gonna show you. So basically, uh, they're both rocking the newest uh, version of Sierra and uh, I'm gonna put up the specs on the, so, and I'm gonna put the specs up over here too, uh, the, about this Mac. And as you can see, even the about this Mac was take, taking a while to boot up there. So let me zoom in a little bit so you, you, know, you guys can see uh, what the specs really are on these two. And so to the left, we have the i5, uh, 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core i5, 4 gigs of 1333 megahertz RAM with the HD graphics like that. And we're going to go to the, I'm not, oh, it looks like my... Sorry about the jittering there. This uh, tripod is not really working with me. And here we have the uh, mid 2010 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Dual, six gigs of 1067 DDR3 RAM. Okay, and this is only at the GeForce 320, so that's shared RAM uh, here. But yeah, it, you can see how quickly uh, or more responsive um, the MacBook Pro is with an SSD. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm, I've really never really done this, so I'm just gonna go and uh, open up some um, I'm going to open up uh, just a browser. So we'll try to get to them at the same time and I'm going to uh, launch Safari on both of them. They're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And you can see, uh, yeah, there's a big difference in how things load up. And why don't we go to just go to uh, Google, double click, one, two. Oh, the i5 does rock, uh, it does keep up. Okay, so let's do, and this is just on, go to YouTube, one, two. Oh, this is my internet being really slow. Okay, so, so in terms of like, uh, right out, you know, system performance, the i5 seems to be a little bit quicker on that, in terms of loading things. And again, this just might be my, this might be uh, just my thing here. Let's see. Let I don't want to play anything here because I'm gonna get a YouTube strike, you know. And I've gotten YouTube strikes for the most ridiculous things before. So I'm just gonna close YouTube here. I'm gonna close YouTube here. Unfortunately, I don't have any other programs that are installed that we can really. Uh, I have iMovie on the 
on my personal little MacBook that I uh, salvaged, but I don't have it on here because this is a customer's rebuild computer here. Um, I don't think what else we could um, boot up that will that will uh, show us any big difference um, between them. Uh, of course, in raw out CPU, you know, you know, based you know programs such as you know using iMovie, the, the i5 is definitely going to take it away. Uh, you know, photoshopping anything heavily. Uh, you know that uses the CPU uh, the i5 is definitely gonna take it away uh, this purpose of this video I, I was just curious myself is to see how quickly um, a MacBook will boot with an SSD um, you know given it's very old tech to you know newer the next generation tech from you know, next generation in terms of jumping from here to here so um, yeah it's it's uh, if you're just using the MacBook for uh, uh, YouTubing and typing and uh, uh, simple simple little daily tasks like that and you want your battery life to last a lot longer uh, an SSD upgrade is definitely the way to go I've noticed definitely uh, a, a much better uh, uh, battery life you know once I put in the SSD on a MacBook Pro and um, it seems to work really really well so any questions or com comments please post them at the bottom of the video um, and if any of you guys have put in an SSD and noticed, you know, a really good performance uh, detail boost, then, you know, just jot it down. Or if you have any other questions, you know, uh, just write your comments down at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.